Whether it's violent jihadism or working inside government to promote terrorism and violence, the Muslim Brotherhood, Al-Qaeda, and ISIS all share the same goal to establish a global caliphate governed by Islamic law. This is what the counter-extremism project found out in its recent report. Recruiters to violent Islamist groups frequently used brotherhood literature and ideology as part of their religious indoctrination program. Most of them ended up as the important figures of the world's most notorious terrorist groups. One notable example is Osama bin Laden of Al-Qaeda. On his death in 2011, the Brotherhood in Egypt released a statement calling bin Laden a sheikh and praised the resistance he led in Afghanistan and Iraq. Sheikh Osama bin Laden was in the Muslim community in Another is bin Laden's co-founder, Ayman al-Zawahri, who conspired with former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi in releasing jihadists from Egyptian prisons to garner support for the Brotherhood. There is also Al-Qaeda's 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Abdul Majid al-Zindani, who has already been sanctioned by the U.S. in 2004. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the founder of Al-Qaeda's splinter group ISIS, initially joined the Brotherhood upon his uncle's behest. In 2016, the terror group has also called upon the Brotherhood in Egypt to openly take up arms against the government. There has also been recorded cooperation between Hamas, a Brotherhood arm, and the Wilayat Sinai, an ISIS affiliate. Al-Qaeda and ISIS are already terrorists in the eyes of the world, yet the U.S. is still reconsidering the designation on the instigator and the prime mover that enabled these groups to exist. If the Muslim Brotherhood can't be called as one, then what does this make of them?